Hello everyone, this is Wendy with Boot Baby. I'm here on the first day of the Flats and Hand Washing Challenge 2017. Um, I'm here to talk about why flats, why I'm doing this challenge, um, and my flat setup for the today. Um, today started out like any other Monday. I woke up, I put a diaper on my little guy, uh, got my oldest off to school, um, changed said diaper, uh, went to Boop where I work on Monday, I open, and checked my Boop email and then I saw that um, I was supposed to have him in a flat, which I sure did not because I forgot. So fail. Um, that was my first fail. <laughs> Hopefully my last. I will put him in two extra flats diapers the day after the challenge ends to make up for my mistake, but I will hand wash those two diapers I used earlier in the day. Um, so aside from forgetting the challenge for the first half of the day, I actually had um, meetings after I picked up my oldest from school. Um, so I stopped at home, I got flats, and we did flats the rest of the day. I have not yet washed them today. It is now 10.39. It is past my bedtime, but I'm going to go ahead and wash them anyway. The thing with hand washing is the more flats that you have that need to be washed, the longer it takes. So since I only have half a day's worth of flats, I'm hoping it won't take too long. Um, I have done the flats challenge before, actually. I've done it, I think, three or four times. Um, why flats for me has changed significantly over the years. When I did the flats challenge at first, it was, you know, my oldest was, I think, one and a half. Um, I just wanted to do it to try it. I bought a nice stash of flats. I um, tried to wash them every two days. That did not go so well. I learned a lot of things. Um, we were a normal family, six figure income. I was just kind of trying it to say that I did and to participate in the cloth diapering community. I didn't need to flat diaper by any means at all. Um, now about six years later, I'm doing it again with my third. Um, I am now unfortunately divorced. I have gone through some months of no income whatsoever and if it weren't for cloth diapers, I would have struggled a lot more financially than I did because I had all my diapers from my other kids and it was just an expense I did not need to worry about when I was worried about having to pay my mortgage and it has just been an amazing gift. Um, I love cloth diapering. I'm, you know, I'm all about the cloth diapers. I want to help other people cloth diaper who may not have the financial resources to disposable diaper, it's a big problem. Um, and even now, even though I do have, you know, some money coming in, I, if my washing machine were to go out, I don't have any kind of emergency fund saved up to pay for that yet. I would literally be hand washing flat. So we are all just inches away from disaster. No, we're actually, probably most of us aren't. I am, that's how I live, and I am past my bedtime. So, let's talk about my flats um, situation for the day. I'm going to show you a picture. Here is what I had going on today. It was a simple pad fold. Um, it works really well. I just fold that bad boy into a rectangle. 
and lay it in a cover. My little guy actually, I usually do the origami fold, but his legs are too chubby to origami fold with these oh so cozy flats. So this is an oh so cozy bamboo flat. You can see the bird's eye there. Um, I love bamboo. I'm a little bit of a bamboo snob. All my flats are bamboo. This is a Rumperoo's cover. Oh, where'd it go? <laughs> we'll put it back. This is my Rumperoo's cover. I love Rumperoo's. Um, they're fantastic. This is a micro fleece liner, which he does need. He has sensitive skin, so he needs the stay dry layer on his diapers or else he gets a rash. So this is what we're doing today. I do use cloth wipes, so that's... Uh, you know, uh, all the wipes will be hand washed as well. Um, right now he is sleeping in a wool cover and a hemp baby's flat. Those are actually quite a bit bigger than the oh so cozy ones. I'm not sure the dimensions, but I will let you know later this week. And uh, he has a pad folded oh so cozy flat on top of that, which is probably actually really overkill because he's not a heavy wetter. But I say sleep is important and, you know, just go with what works. And if I need to, if I can, I will take out the extra oh so cozy flat because the back of his butt is pretty fluffy right now. Um, I'm hoping it lasts all night, but we will see. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I would be happy to answer them. I will watch the comments. This is going to go in a blog post probably sometime tomorrow after I have had a little bit of sleep. And uh, we will do one on the wash routine. We'll do one on the nighttime diaper. I will bring that down sometime and show you. Um, and uh, once I figure out exactly what works for him, I know the hemp baby's flat worked with my second and she was my heaviest sweater, so I have good faith it will work with him. Um, my oldest, I actually, her overnight diaper, the hemp baby's flats, I don't think existed or if they did, I didn't have them. I used two receiving blankets for her nighttime diaper for the flats and hand washing challenge and, and that worked well. Receiving blankets are fantastically absorbent flat diapers. I highly recommend those if you need a budget overnight flat diaper. Um, you know, I am not of the opinion it is too late to join. If you want to join the Flats and Hand Washing Challenge, please do. I will put a space in the comments. You guys can link your own blogs. I would love to hear about your experiences. This is not my first time doing this challenge, but it is definitely my first time doing this challenge as a single mom and as a business owner and as a person with not a lot of time on her hands so we will see how it goes I'm gonna make it through um, but you know I will probably be washing diapers past my bedtime every night because tomorrow I am not home all day either um, that's just my life so yeah we will see you guys tomorrow probably earlier in the day than 1030 because this is not this is late I'm going to go to sleep <laughs> good night everybody let me know if you're doing the challenge what folds you're doing I'm going to try a different fold every day I cheated today and just did the pad fold like you saw in my photo but um I will attempt to show you a different fold every day once I have mastered it and uh Seriously, the origami fold is doesn't work with these flats. His legs are too thick, <laughs> which I think is so cute. They're so delicious, but it doesn't work. These aren't like, they're, uh, or he's just huge. He's in 2T clothes. He's not a normal 10-month-old. Okay, I'm going to sleep. Good night, everyone. Happy flatting, <laughs> and we will see you tomorrow.